Hello fellow YouTubers. I mean, hello fellow YouTubers, according to that, uh, my first time I said that, it um, didn't work. So, hi, I've been trying to make a, um, a vlog for a while now, but um, unfortunately, I, well, fortunately, whatever, I've been house-sitting, so um, I haven't been at home. So, I, uh, I don't, and the, um, where I'm house-sitting, dog-sitting, I should say, um, they don't have webcam, so I've just dropped home to my house to, um, to quickly make a vlog and visit my home because I miss it. I'm a bit of a homebody, like I go out lots, but um, like I'm always out doing things, but I am definitely, I like my own space. Anyway, so um, I've got surgery in about two weeks tomorrow, today's Sunday, so um, tomorrow, Monday, it'll be two weeks. Oh, it's, sorry for the ghostly light. <laughs> I'm down under my house and I've got a bulb like just here. And so it's giving me that. Um, I need to be under the house. You'll probably see why <laughs> soon enough. Um, yeah. So yeah, surgery is really soon. And I mean, I was pretty stoked for my first surgery, but um, this one I'm really super excited about. I think probably because um, I'm really excited about having everything perfect this time. And I've been through it once before, so I'm not yeah nervous or something. I don't know. I don't know why. I'll, I'm probably really excited about having time off work. That's what it comes down to. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick snapshot of my chest. I have done this before, but I'll do it quickly again, just really quickly. As you can see, I've got like the half don't, whoops, half donut thing happening there. Um, and my this nipple doesn't poke out very much, and this one does. Um, see, see. Um, so he's basically getting the skin, pulling that up. This nipple, he's cutting down this areola a bit and putting some something or other behind it to mo so it sticks out a bit more. Some skin, like he's folding some skin over or something. This nipple points down at the ground a bit. He's pulling that up so it does um, stick out. Um, hopefully taking, like, see how it's sort of, um, yeah, wait, sort of, yeah. So hopefully fixing that up too. Um, I can't say for sure. But, um... That's that's the plan. Anyway, so I think I was whinging last time about how much Dr. Bartholomew's was costing me. Not whinging, just having just being a bit bummed out about the price and um, how much it's going to cost me, and and the fact that I, you know, you save up all this money and then you got to go back for a second surgery. So I wrote a letter to his um, nurse Elise, who is awesome, and um, said, you know, a bit bummed out. She was the only contact person I had, so that's why I kind of wrote a letter to her. Um, so. She, um, oops, <laughs> now that's embarrassing. Let's do that in front of the whole wide world. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, anyway, she passed on my letter to Dr. Bartholomew's. Um, I tried to be as polite as possible, but I think when you're whinging about money, um, or venting as she called it, it's going to come out, um, you know, a little bit like, Rawr! Um, and yeah, so she passed it on Dr. Bartholomew, he set up a meeting with me, um, he was, he said he was a little disappointed that I didn't understand that it would probably be two surgeries, um, and that wasn't my point, and I explained that to him, I was just disappointed that I didn't have the understanding that the second surgery would cost as much, but let me tell you some good news, when we had that meeting he reduced my price of my surgery phenomenally, phenomenally, phenomenally. Do, 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 do. <laughs> um, so I was super stoked and very, very, very grateful, um, as you would be, because that leaves a little bit more extra money for me to play with, because when I take the time off work, I'm going to have to... Um, um, I'm gonna have to like have some time without pay because I haven't actually saved up enough holiday pay um, holiday time um, in since um, my last surgery which is not even a year ago you know like so um, yeah I, I'll probably need one or two weeks off work which means I got to pay rent etc etc and I'm a little bit you know just worried about um, not being able to afford that so yeah um, so um, that's that's my stoke thing about that um, what else have I got to talk to you about? Um, pimples. My pimples have chilled out a bit. Oh, Reandron. That's right. Let me start that again. Reandron and the effects of. So it's been, ah, oh, shit, I should have thought about this before I started talking. Um, well, you can scroll back through my last vlog and tell me how long it's been. Um, it's got to be coming up for six weeks, maybe 
six, it's got to be coming up for about six weeks that I since I've had my shot. I still feel pretty good. Actually, this last couple of days, I've started to feel a bit exhausted. Um, but um, a little bit tired, a little bit not so. Ah, but let me tell you about my life. Bar out. Um, so we had the dude launch here in Brisbane for Dude Hages. Um, he runs uh, Dude Magazine, Trans Guy Magazine, or Trans Trans Asterix ma Magazine for anyone or anyone really. Um, yeah, so he runs that and um, or puts that together. I think he's editor. And um, so me and a few others. Um, well, T-Bar and then a few of the other guys, they helped me put up together um, an awesome dude launch, um, and which went fantastic. We had over 120 people. It was great. Um, I did emceeing for the night. I think I found my calling. I really enjoyed being up on stage. Um, I, I did costume changes every time I got on stage. The last one being in a dress, a very ugly, ugly velvet dress and a big pair of socks in my pants so that <laughs> I had that awkward bulge um but it was fantastic i really loved it i really appreciated everyone rocking up and it was a great night it was really it has such a yummy vibe um and then last weekend we have something here in brisbane called big gay day where wickham hotel that's one of our gay pub one of the like three gay pubs um and they shut off the streets around it and um have like all sorts of famous acts and stuff like that and this year they offered me um well t-bar the upstairs space so we got level one and i called it transit lounge T-R-A-N-S in capitals, IT Lounge. It was very cool. We decked it out. Um, a big thank you to Ben, Jade, um, and Patrick. Um, did I forget someone? Uh, and, and everyone at Quack, Amanda, and um, or Evie, sorry, um, and Ashley, broom broom, um, to, um, for helping me get everything sorted. I was pretty damn stressed for a good chunk of time there pretty damn stressed <laughs> let me tell you i haven't felt stressed like that i water plans for a living not i don't do event management but it seems i do now um anyway yeah so we put that together um and we the boys uh ben and patrick and jade um if i didn't say jade before thank you to you too um decorate help decorate we had big cloud backdrops you know you went for the sort of the theme of um of you know like airplanes and stuff like that i dressed up as a captain it all went together so awesomely and smoothly anyway so i don't know why i was talking about that just my life and how busy it's been i think was that why yeah oh reandron so yeah i've been just hell flat out like leaving for work at like six in the morning and getting home from work and everything else like my unpaid work at about like um 10 at night sort of style like woof, but going hard and in loving it but anyway so um back to reandron introduction to reandron these are the effects i've been finding um yeah pimples they've seemed to have chilled out a bit so i'm assuming my next shot i get for that will be the same um i'll probably get um get some pimples when i first have the shot and then it'll chill out a bit i guess um and thirsty i've been so extremely thirsty but that might have something to do with the fact when i go to work i'm gonna do this when i go to work which is physical, you know, I go around pretty fast, water plants as fast as I can, get it all done, you know, like, and so water, water, water. Um, so I sweat a bit, but this is what I look like now on Primo. I mean, and like, this is me at work. Hi, morning, I'm just here to water your plant. Surely, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating, I drip sweat. It's sexy, and you know it. No. Um, anyway, ah, uh, crap. Um, yeah, so that's one thing that I haven't been enjoying, how much, and I do, I have wetness like this all over me. It's feral, it's feral, which means more deodorant. Oh, which is, here's a little trans 101 for you. If you have roll-on deodorant with your hairy armpits, I've learned that sometimes that shit fucking gets caught in your ball, rolly ball, and rips. It really hurts. It's not enjoyable in any way, shape, or form. Um, quickly, 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 because my com this computer is about to die, of course. So yeah, I've been really thirsty, dying of thirst, thirsty kind of style, dying of thirst. Um, and and I'm not a big, wasn't a big water drinker, but I am now. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else? I think that's all for now. Apart from this, I'm leaving you with this thought. Okay, so. <clears throat> you know that awkward moment where you think you're all at in a bag of chips and then all of a sudden your cock falls out on the ground mm. <laughs> except you know what I've got written here <laughs> is I've got 
I've got that yet. Uh, that it fills out and I was thinking that'd be awkward too if my cock started filling out in my pants but that'd mean I'd have a real cock a real boy and um yeah but anyway <laughs> that just ended not so well but I think that's all I just um I just wanted to quickly get in an update because I hadn't um had a chance to do one in a while and um now I'm all wet like a work day um I think I've pretty much said it all I um I will make another one soon enough um, after my next shot, probably. Um, but, or when I'm coming up for surgery, which is what, two weeks? So, woohoo! Alright, so that'll be all for me. 